guys welcome to my channel and welcome to another daily vlog today's thursday um the week is going pretty quickly i think i think it has <laughs> um i am very late to the game today um today is kind of a bittersweet day um it was five years ago today that my grandma passed away and this was my mom's mom and I was really close with her and uh, we were there when she passed I was holding her hand and um, she was she was obviously like in her 80s but it was very quick it was something you know in my opinion had the hospital been doing their job it wouldn't have happened um she was probably the healthiest of all of us um you know never had any major issues but it ended up her gallbladder complications from that took her and um yeah we never pursued it but I believe very strongly that the hospital did not do all that they could have done but but regardless she's gone she's at peace um I think this was the beginning of my mom's kind of deterioration for lack of a better word um, my mom took it really really hard and now I understand why um, she uh, yeah she she took it really really hard and it was difficult to see her like that and she was never right she was never herself after that so Yeah, so it's kind of a, a sad day, but I'm going to do my best to push through it. Um, Stormy's here. He's going to be helping me today. Um, I have a bunch of editing to do, and I'm going to make some homemade granola bars that I found on Pinterest. So we're going to do that, and yeah, just kind of take the day as it comes. Um, but right now, I'm going to get something to eat and get my water started. Yesterday, I was at four glasses of water and one can of pop. I had the pop later on. So that wasn't so good. Um, um, yeah, I'm not really happy with it. I'm kind of going backwards. But today's a new day, so I'm going to drink all my water. And I made a new rule for myself. I need to get at least six glasses of water in before I can have a Coke. So that's the new rule. So I am going to fill the water bottle and make something for lunch. And then we'll probably do some editing. Hey guys. So totally got distracted with watching Survivor from last night. Um, but I'm going to take a break because I do have to get some stuff done. But I wanted to show you... Stormy, because Stormy went shopping last night, and he found that. How cute is that? I love it. I think he looks adorable. There you go. <laughs> I think he looks cute. So, him and I are going to do some much-needed editing. I am so behind, you guys. It's kind of ridiculous. I'm turn the TV off. There we go. And I'm going to try and set you guys up better than the other day. <clears throat> it's kind of hard. There we go. It's kind of hard now the way we have the desk, but I will do my best and Stormy is going to help me. So let's get editing.
Okay guys, so you basically just saw me editing um, a video. I created a couple thumbnails while I was waiting for it to process and of course Stormy has been hanging out on my iPad. He's a little thief. <laughs> yeah, he's just hanging out. He's going to help me do some baking in a little bit. But I'm just going to finish up um, doing a couple more um, videos just to get them done and out of the way. And then we will hit the kitchen. Okay, guys. I just spent over an hour editing. <laughs> That's what happens when I procrastinate. It's bad. So now I'm going to attempt these no-bake chocolate chip granola bars. And I found them on Pinterest. So I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. If it'll focus, it might not focus. Focus. No, it's not going to focus. If I remember, I will leave a link down below. But um, if any of you do want the recipe, just let me know. Um, it's supposed to be healthier and cheaper than the store bought kind. It is gluten free. And you just take crispy rice cereal, so Rice Krispies. Honey, um, quick oats, brown sugar, I gotta grab that, chocolate chips, vanilla, and butter. So I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna try and make this. And of course I'm gonna bring you guys along. Of course. And Stormy is all ready to go. So let me get everything ready and then we'll start. Okay guys, here we go. I moved Stormy so he was out of the way. Okay. So I need to melt some stuff here. So turn that on. So we need butter, honey, and brown sugar. So a quarter cup of butter. Butter, quarter cup of honey, oh, something on my burner so it's a little smoky in here I have no idea what okay and then a third of a cup of packed brown sugar It says you want to basically dissolve everything, especially the brown sugar. And melt butter, honey, and brown sugar. Okay. Until it becomes to a bubble and then reduce the heat and cook for two more minutes. So I'll put it on medium heat. Uh, and then meanwhile, in a large bowl, we're going to stir in the oats and the cereal. So, two cups of cooking oats, quick cooking oats. Two. 
reduce the heat. Uh, reduce the heat and cook two minutes. Pour it in the vanilla. Pour it off the vanilla. How much vanilla? Vanilla, half a teaspoon. medium high heat until it comes to a boil. Reduce heat and cook two minutes. Alright, so we're reducing heat and letting it cook. Now I need a cup of the cereal. Pour in, okay, pour over dry ingredients and mix well to moisten. Pour onto lightly greased small jelly roll pan and press out to be three quarters inch thickness. Okay, so. This will use like another sec, couple seconds, and then just gonna cut these. Pan with coconut oil. And looks like we're done. So I'm going to pour this in here. Wow, that looks yummy. These are actually good. I'm going to be impressed. So that's what they're looking like. Just make sure everything is coated. And then you press it into the pan. want them to be obviously a certain thickness. I think 
think that's a good thickness. Hey, Mackie. Uh, all right. So now, cool on um, cool on a countertop to room temperature for two hours, or until the chocolate chips are set. Alright, so that's what it looks like. So I'm going to let that sit out till 6.50, probably not that long, and uh, we'll see how they are. I'm kind of excited. That was actually super easy, and especially now that I've actually done it, it's super, super easy. So hopefully they turn out. Fingers crossed. We'll see. Hey guys, so they're not 100% set, but I think once they're in the fridge, they'll be better, but I just wanted to try them. Um, too much vanilla, but they're good. They're like really good. Oh yeah. We got a winner. Mm. Okay guys, I think it was a very productive day. Um, those granola bars are phenomenal. Like, I love them. I know Dan's gonna love them. So tomorrow maybe I'll make a bigger batch or two batches or something. That way you can put them in the fridge. It, they're like, they give you that little sweet that, you know, sometimes you just need in the middle of the day. Um, I love them. I'm going to, I put them in the fridge to see if they would harden a bit. Um, I may have cooked the brown sugar and butter and stuff a little bit too long. So I'll watch that and I'll use less vanilla next time because I just feel there's too much vanilla. But, yeah. So I'm going to just take some time and relax and then I'm going to edit this video and get it ready to go for tomorrow morning. Veda is back on track for the next few days so you'll have videos for that in the morning as well. And yeah, it's just that kind of day. It was good. I, I think it, you know, considering it's it's a sad day but I made the best of it. Um, yeah, I think I heard it was very successful. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.